Hey, what's happening guys? We're back with the uh, KSGR T12 soldering station again. I'm going to take another look at it today. Uh, mostly for... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> mostly for this horrible tip that's on there. I don't like it. Now I'm noticing this is starting to come apart, but that's just a bit of a little push-in issue there. No real worries, right? So the other day, when I did the original video on this, <clears throat> I like everything about the soldering station itself. It's compact, it's powerful, um, the menus are relatively intuitive, everything seems pretty good. But they supply you with this Type K tip. See if you can read that there, it says T12 Type K. Well, in my opinion, this is worthless for anything dealing with electronics. I'm sorry, I just, I think it is. If you know a good application for electronics using this thing, you know, let me know, but I don't see one. So I went ahead and I ordered a set of three tips from Amazon. I actually ended up getting these Amazon warehouse deal. Now, if you look here at the phone, this is the uh, T12 soldering tip interchangeable with Heiko T15, T12, blah, blah, blah. And it says it came with a K, J02, and an IL, but it did not. Now, the price for this is $16.50. I got this for $12. Like I said, it was a uh, Amazon warehouse deal. And what I ended up getting is an IL which is a nice conical tip. The BC2, which is kind of a flattened wedge shape. And a D24, which is a nice chisel type. And these all work great for electronics. So let's put the, uh, let's put the IL tip in. I think that's in all the way. Then we'll get our necessary stuff to tin the tip. And I'll fire up the soldering station. And my screen is still extremely dim. And I don't know what's causing that. But I can read it. Hmm. It's blinking on error. Let me see if you guys can see that. Probably not. But anyway, it stopped blinking on error, so hopefully we're good now. So I'm going to go ahead and tin this tip. And then clean it. tin it. I like to do this three or four times with a new tip. Just to make sure we got a nice coating and that the solder is sticking. Which it is. Alright. So let's do a, a couple of soldering experiments and see if the tip makes a difference. I personally think that it will. Alright, so I got this set up here. Same wire we used before. And try to do a little lineman splice here. Before we couldn't get enough surface area. That it wouldn't melt the solder. But now as you can see yeah it's taking the solder very nicely so that tip does make the difference which I knew it would this is pretty thick wire thicker than anything you would use for electronics 
this is like household gauge wiring, like 18 AWG, but I thought that would make a good test. Oh, now we're all blurry. Why are you blurry? Focus. There we go. So that worked out pretty good. Let's see how well it does on soldering some electronic components in then. All right, I got a bunch of uh, components just stuck here in the board. We got an LED capacitor, resistor, and a diode, because they all have different size leads. I thought that might give us an opportunity here to see how it does. So. Let's see how she does. We'll start with this LED back here. That went very nicely. A tip like this I find gives you more positive control over where you're actually putting the solder. Yeah, see, this is soldering so much better. Now, with this tip, this is a soldering iron that I can use. And it might just become my new go-to iron. Let's see if we can zoom in here. You guys can get a better look at those joints. Yeah, those all came out really, really nice. I'm impressed with that. So with the right set of tips for your job, I always tin my irons before I put them away. Keeping a nice coat of solder on there help keeps those tips from oxidizing. So yeah, with the right set of tips, this KSGER T12 soldering station is definitely a winner. Good price. Um, the handle, can't see it there, there you go. The handle's a little on the uh, El Cheapo side. But Banggood does sell a metallic handle for this, which, you know, if you want to go for the bling, go for it. But I, I definitely give this soldering station a thumbs up with the proper tips. With that K12, K12 tip that it came with, or type K tip, yeah, it's no good. But with, a, like, this was the IL or the, one of the chisel tips, I don't think you're going to go wrong with this. Looks like a nice piece of gear. So I want to thank Banggood one more time for sending that out. I want to thank you guys for watching. A big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.